Хотіло б мати інший час. We would like to have a different time or better time. Хотілося, щоб браття не говорили навіть таких речей. It would be nice if the brothers wouldn't even be speaking about such things. But we ми з вами дожили до такого часу. But we have come to such time. Тому насамперед я хочу зачитати вірші слова Божого, тому що дуже мало часу залишилося. Therefore, uh, first of all, I would like to read a part of scripture because there's very little time has been left. 12 голова Римлян 12 голова. The Romans chapter 12. І 15 вірш. And verse 15. Тіштеся з тими, хто тішиться. Плачте з тими, хто плаче. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Я хотів би звернутися до вас, брати і сестри, які є сьогодні в собранні. I would like to speak to all who are here in this building. Ми захоплені, ми є таке слово да, на українське натхнені. Uh, we are, um, so to say, filled with spirit or encouraged uh, uh, you, by your giving with the fact that you care uh, with your prayers. Because the people of God has uh, the most powerful weaponry. Uh, more powerful than any uh, atomic uh, weapon. There's nothing that can uh, intercept prayers. And one of the author writes that the uh, Birds have to give way because the prayers are coming up. And so I don't forget, I would like to thank all brothers and sisters you speak only English or some Ukrainian or some Russian? You want to call it only English. And, uh, to those that, who I come and ask, do you speak only Ukrainian, Russian, and they say only English. Those that listen to us or will listen to us. In Ukrainian language, there are some beautiful words. And I would like to use one of them. We are sincerely thankful. Ми вдячні вам уже 32 роки пройшло. We are thankful to you there's been uh, 32 years have been passed. Як ви відкрили двері церков ваших? As you have opened the doors of your churches. Як ви відкрили ваші бізнеси? As you have opened your businesses. Щоб прийняти нас на працю. To uh, employ us. Щоб допомогти нам встати на ноги. To help us uh, stand on our feet. Ми дякуємо за ваші молитви. We thank you for your prayers. За ваше терпіння, що ми може не все розуміли з культури. For your uh, patience because uh, not, we didn't understand everything from your culture. Але сьогодні ми вже прожили ці роки з вами. But uh, now we have uh, have lived these years with you. Помінявся наш статус. Our uh, status has changed. We are no longer with uh, suitcases. We do not drive uh, rotten cars. God also has blessed us among you. But the time has come that, that our, uh, today our hearts, uh, our eyes are in tears. They are filled with tears. Uh, because from uh, of, a, of our country, that a lot more people than came in those previous years, 
They have left their country. And they did not leave uh, uh, their country with men. They did not leave it with their uh, parents, many of them. Because we could have taken our parents Even our parents who were on um, handicap uh, chairs. And they were cared for. But we see today that exodus from Ukraine it is with blood. Is this something that is unknown to us? I'd say it is known. God has uh, foretold about that. And if today maybe someone has spoke uh, this one is uh, at fault or the other, I, I'd like to say that we are also uh, guilty in a way. Because God uh, revealed that such will come. This brother Igor the uh, father um, uh, of a brother Igor uh, who has been uh, long gone the father-in-law he said when, when we uh, converse he said I saw a vision that there will be a lot of bloodshed in Ukraine And I say that we are at fault a bit, that yes, we are now praying about it very much. And we need to pray a lot more and a lot more with uh, tears. Our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, I would like to say to you, Maybe uh, there was a time that you did not understand us. And those who uh, were in the first numbers that immigrated here, they know what I am talking about. We, are, we do not hold a grudge against you. We would like to say today that we are with you. Uh, we would like to say that the people or the nation amongst who we live, they are with you. And I have not seen a nation uh, such as nation uh, where we live that would care so much. We have a lot of, we get a lot of phone calls that is for you, uh, brothers from Ukraine. Uh, from the brothers and sisters of uh, uh, where we live. They say, we are praying, uh, are crying with you. We are praying with you. I, I visited uh, one older lady, 95 years old. She, she is Italian by nationality. Pastor Mike, I'm praying every day about your church, about your people. Pastor Mikhailo, I pray every day for your church, for your people. And I say, I, I know that. Because we see the hand of God. And we are uh, uh, thankful to all those that donate uh, to Ukraine. And we thank, you, we thank those who will donate even today. Because our people, our nation, uh, they are in great uh, trouble. And we're going to come with prayer. We thank God for everything that he does not abandon his people.
Тому коли браття мене питали, чи ми можемо повісити якийсь знак напроти церкви. And when brothers asked me, can we put some sort of a sign in front of the church? Я кажу, я не знаю, які ви маєте на серці, але я вам пропоную, щоб ви написали моліться з нами. And I said I do not know what kind of ideas you have in your heart, but I propose that you would pray with us. І я хочу сказати сьогодні, що ми будемо молитися. And I would like to say today that we will pray. Є написано, що каже всьому свій час. It is written that for everything there is a lot of time. Прийшов час плакати. The time has come to weep. І ми чули, що каже апостол Павел. And we have heard what apostle Paul writes. Був час, коли тішилися. There was time when there was rejoicing. There was happiness. Був час, коли ми могли мати, знаєте, різні пари. There was a time that we had a, a many different celebrations. Але нині в нас є час плакати перед лицем Божим. But today we have a time to weep before the face of God. Нині є час молитися до Бога. Today we have time to pray before God. І ви знаєте, коли Ісфір пішла до царя. And when Esther went to the king. Ми знаємо, дивимося тільки на Ісфір. От вона смілива, от вона пішла і защита прийшла. And we sometimes only look at Esther that she was so courageous that she the only one went to the king. Чи чи Естер так дивилася? Did she look at that way? Ну ми знаємо, що за Естер стояли тисячі, тисячі народа, but, дітей, батьків старших. But we know that thousands and thousands of people stood behind her, the older and younger and kids. І вона говорила, каже, я піду, як померти, помру. And she said that I will go and if I were to die, that is to die. Я буду поститися з моїми дівчатами. I will be fasting with uh, my friends. А ви поститься за мене. But you also fast and pray for me. Братя мої сестри. My brothers and sisters. Я закликаю вас до молитви. I call you all to prayer. Що ми щиро помолилися. That we sincerely would pray. За наших братів і сестер. For our brothers and sisters. За те, щоб Бог зупинив кровопролиття. That God would put an end to bloodshed. І щоб ці дні цього випробовування вони скоротилися. And so that the day of the tribulation, so to say, would be shortened. Хай імені Господньому буде честь і слава на віки. Амінь. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Amen. Господи Боже наш, ми 